Hi, I'm Penny Clark and this is the home of the British Sailing Team TV channel. Today I've got with me Saskia Clark and Hannah Mills, our representatives for the 470 class here at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Hannah, you got to go to the opening ceremony because your racing starts so late. How was that for you? Absolutely insane. Uh, we went up to London kind of that morning and hung out in the village and went people spotting and tried to find as many famous people as we could and get our photographs with them, which was wicked. Um, and then obviously getting to walk with the British team into the stadium was just incredible. The reception we got was amazing. And for you, it was obviously good because the racing starts much later from some of the other fleets. So do you think it's an important part of the experience to take all these opportunities? I think, I think each to their own, you know. I think Sass and I didn't feel it would affect our build-up going to the opening ceremony, which is why we decided to do it. But equally, um, some other people thought it would... I, I don't know, didn't think it would suit them quite as well. So I think uh, if, if you don't think it's going to have any impact, then definitely why not take the opportunity? Yeah. And Saskia, this is obviously your second Olympic Games. You got to go to the opening ceremony in Beijing as well. Completely different being in London? Um, totally different, yeah. Just being, you know, we were last nation in, so I think um, it'd been a fantastic ceremony by all accounts, everyone that had watched it anyway. Um, and... It's just mental, you know, being an athlete at your home games. It's a totally different notch to what I experienced in Beijing. Yeah. Brilliant, fantastic. And you two, are, by Olympic standards, are a fairly new pairing. Um, the last 18 months have been absolutely fantastic for you. Um, without giving too much away before the Olympic Games, what do you think has been your secret to success? Um, I think sort of the, the tiny time scale we had um, from teaming up to when the trial started... Um, meant that we had to be like very clear with each other about what we uh, we wanted and we needed, and um, I think quite often it's very difficult to have that um, very honest conversation. Um, and uh, we were able to have that and both just be very receptive to it. Like it was, it was all about performance; it was nothing personal, and it just put our partnership and our relationship on a great um, you know footing from the beginning. We've been able to carry on and build on with that. And Hannah, being one of the younger members of the team. Um, since you've up, teamed up with Saskia, you've virtually medalled at every single event you've done. Current world champions, clearly not afraid of the big big stage. <laughs> uh, Sas has been great for me. You know, I, I, um, I struggled a bit the first couple of years in the 470, just not quite getting it, it right. The step up from youth sailing to Olympic sailing is a really, really big change. Um, and then to start sailing with Sas and just get the experience of someone who's been to the Games, who's sailed the 470 for such a long period of time and, and to just learn as much as I possibly could from SAS about how to campaign properly and, and doing the right things at the right time. It was just a big step for me. And how have your preparations been going for these games? Uh, so far, so good, we think. Yeah, it was pretty weird yesterday sailing out and seeing everyone on the Nove ready for Ben to, to come on and uh, and race on the Nove in front of them all. Um, that was pretty weird. And, and I think, you know, starting so late after everyone else is, has its pluses and minuses, but we're definitely taking the pluses from it. You know, we get to see what, what's going on, what we can expect. And so it's not just kind of like, oh, you know, when we when we first get there. So um, it, it's it's been going well and we feel like we're on track and uh, we're kind of getting to the stage where we're just ready for it to begin now. Brilliant. And Saskia, do you change any of your preparations for the Olympic Games over any of the other events you've done? Um, it's just been it's slightly difficult now. Obviously, people started racing yesterday to get access to the courses, so we've had to just tailor, um, you know, when we're launching and stuff around that when other people are racing. Um, and also, we you know, very, very conscious that we don't want um, Ben and Ian and Bart started yesterday, and we couldn't start our regatta with them then, you know, because we still got another. Um, six days would be exhausted by the time we finish. So um, we're just sort of just changing a few, you know, tailoring around when we choose to be in the boat park, maybe away from their launch time, which is 11 o'clock or whatever, just so we don't get too caught up now in the, the bustle of race day when we've still got time left ourselves. And as I said, you've meddled at virtually every event you've done as, since you two have teamed up. Current world champions, you've got to be some of the favourites going into this event. I mean, there's kind of been a little bit of chat about that, us being the favourites and stuff. I think Hannah and I both just look at it that um, it was great to win the Worlds, um, you know, get 1-1 one, because one, we'd won a lot of silvers. Um, and we see there's um, three three of us really strong contenders and then six of us that, you know, girls that we're you know, never going to count out um, on, you know, six of six or seven of the girls on their who, day. Who are your main three? Would you say? Um, we've sort of got the Kiwis and the Dutch and, you know, us, we think good all-rounders and 
but then there's the French, the Spanish, Japanese, you know, there's, lo there's lots of girls there that have got lots of experience and have won lots of events and stuff. And, um, you know, they'll keep fighting for this. It's the Olympic Games. Everyone will fight as hard as they can. So um, we're just going in uh, happy that we've got a win under our belt, but uh, ready to scrap it out with them all. Brilliant. And Hannah, what would you say your strengths are? Are you looking for any particular conditions or do you think you'll take a mixed bag? We'd, we'd definitely take a mixed bag. You know, we we feel like over our main rivals, we've probably got the edge in the slightly lighter stuff. Um, but at the same time, if we do all the things we can do well when it's windy, then there's no reason we can't be up there um, battling out for the win, even when it's windy. So a mixed bag would be great for us. And, and just, uh, I think we just we just want to enjoy it. You know, it's, it's going to be an insane week and one we'll never forget. And uh, just to enjoy it would, would be great. Brilliant. Well, all the best of luck, girls. I really, really hope that you that you do well and uh, and keep all your messages of support coming in for all the members of the team. Um, it really means the world to them. So keep tuned in. Keep looking for us at 11 o'clock every morning for the live shows. I'm Penny Clark. This is the home of the British Sailing Team TV channel.